Hey crew, for anyone who's interested, um, sorry about not being on board for a while, but we had a big shift and uh, we're now in rural Queensland and uh, it took me a month to get uh, internet connection on. So moving on, I'm here talking about the Wim Hof method of breathing and its relation to uh, other um, programs that are out there on deep breathing. Now, deep breathing has been around for a long time, you know, since since the yogis, you know, out uh, out in the caves and uh, back the Himalayan somewhere. What I'm concerned of here is what are we talking about here? Now, Patrick McEwen, right, is well known for his uh, oxygen advantage method and his uh, Buteco clinics and, and they're really good for their asthmatic uh, conditioning and stuff, you know. So what I'm just going to do, I'm a member of, of uh, both uh, parties, uh, you know, online stuff. So I just want to play this small one for you first. This is from the Oxygen Advantage and Breathing Efficiency. Just one, just one gentle, gentle breath, breath per minute, minute for, for the duration of one hour. hour. So, so again, with breathing, breathing, less is more. This is all about light breathing. breathing. And, and efficient, efficient breathing. breathing. So, so during, during okay, so he advocates there light and efficient breathing. Now, if you have done anything with the Wim Hof method, you know pretty much that that's not the way that the Wim Hof method is. You know that uh, if you're in the uh, Wim Hof method, it's a, a very um, a very aggressive type of breathing. You know, so. Um, this is on the uh, Wim Hof app that you can buy and you can see how this is there. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got to do it on there. Okay. So you can see there's no... Um, you know subtlety about that whatsoever you know we're led to sort of think now what does it do then what's the difference in it and when i look at it is that your difference is that you you are unable especially if you're doing a meditative uh, like a mindfulness practice then what patrick talks about in his oxygen advantage works really nicely you know you can just be present you can follow your breath really easily whereas when you're in a position like with with Wim here uh, this this type of breathing is is I you know I, I almost uh, tense up with it you know like it uh, it gives me uh, really tightness across the back of my shoulders because you're really breathing in hard okay so but at the end of the day it, it's not so much about um, you know the uh, the results that you're trying to get, as in you know how deeply you can breathe. It's about controlling the CO2 uh, levels in your body and the buffering that goes along with higher acceptance of CO2. Now I'm just going to leave that right like now because I, I, I well look I, I'd love to just play this this one little clip here from again from Patrick. Next, Next we're, we're going, going to have a look at VO2 max. max. And, and VO2 max, max is the maximum capacity of your body, body to transport and utilize oxygen in one, one minute during maximum exercise. exercise. And, and in, in these studies here, here the athlete's response to increased carbon dioxide was 47% of that reported by the non athlete group. The non athlete control is the number. Okay, so that was a, a response to the CO2 level, right? Okay, okay, to increase carbon dioxide, okay? So that's one, these are one issue. This is the, this is the similarity, right, between like the Patrick McEwen and the Wim Hof methods. They both look to increase the um, uh, re resilience to the, the CO2 trigger, you know, to 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 breathe again. You know, so you get increased the increased um, use of the oxygen you've already had. Okay, so working from there. Now, it it a diaphragm is any other is a muscle just like any other muscle. Okay, so I I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen these. Now I've got a really old school one. Okay, it's called a power breath. Um, you know, like now. 
I, oh, that's right. It's all back to front on these cameras. But I've had this for a, a long time and I've used it to actually exercise the diaphragmatic muscle. Okay. All right. This is totally different from understanding the, uh, you know, the Wim Hof, Patrick McEwen, uh, um, you know, CO2 uh, breathing and methodologies. Okay, this is about actually, you know, increasing the uh, actual muscle uh, around the diaphragm breathing. Okay, now this is pretty cool. It's a, it's a resistance. It's a, it's a resist. I just dissembled it in front of you there. This is a resistance uh, screw that's on this. You increase the resistance that you breathe in through rotation of this knob here, okay? And you can set it on really mild settings and after a, a few weeks you get to increase it, okay? So that's, that's one little um, device that I've found is really quite good to help you getting strength in the actual breathing technique all right so look i'm not i want to stay on long like this or what i wanted to do was just to address that issue and it's not an issue per se i i see the uh debate with the, the wim hof method and uh patrick's method and i see how they both blend together for different disciplines but at the end of the day i do love uh wim and the way he speaks to health strength and happiness as being you know the the dictators of uh of, of a life well lived you know so whereas patrick you know he's very clinical in the way he speaks to things but uh he's still a mindfulness practitioner as well so uh they're on the same track any type of uh debate or questions or inquiries i'd love to um field a few and uh you know we can uh um you know get to uh chat if you like what's going on here please you know sort of spread the like button and stuff like that um and we'll we'll look forward to talking again see ya